What's going on guys? I appreciate you tuning in. In today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you my most recent action figure pickups from Toxic Crusaders, the 1991 Playmates line that I am absolutely loving collecting, even though, like I mentioned before, I've got no nostalgic connection with the line that goes back to my childhood. These figures are just plain awesome, and all the design elements that made the vintage TMNT line so cool is just ramped up to the next level with Toxic Crusaders, and I'm loving them. Now, this is a five minute finds episode, at least that's my intention, so I wanna rip straight into it with this figure right here. We've got Toxic Crusaders answer to Too Bad in the Motu line, Headbanger. And, and this is just a really sweet figure. So we've got a fusion of two different characters mutated together. We've got the mad scientist who looks wicked with his mutated green skin and his bulbous veiny head. Uh, he's got what looks like the remains of a shredded lab coat with a bow tie and a pocket protector. And Headbang is a good guy in the world of the Toxic Crusaders, but you have to admit that the mad scientist half of Headbanger does look quite villainous. But if you look at the back of the figure, you can see that the figure's or the character's left arm is giving his buddy here a bit of a man hug. So uh, definitely a good guy here with Headbanger. And that brings us to the other half. We've got this surfer looking guy in his beach wear with his sunglasses. And, uh, and a face sculpt that is the complete opposite to the mad scientist. Just a really cool combination of two very contrasting characters mutated together here with Headbanger. Now my Headbanger figure is complete and unlike a lot of the Toxic Crusaders figures, Headbanger only came with three accessories. So we've got his surfboard accessory, which has a ton of sculpted detail and even a peg so you can display the figure on the surfboard. We've got this crazy looking blaster that has two handles so both characters that make up Headbanger can get a grip on that blaster. And then this really cool looking glow in the dark scope accessory that pegs into the blaster. So I'm really happy to have a nice, clean, complete headbanger here. My only issue with this one is that the sticker from the surfboard has unfortunately come off. It's not too big a drama because the stickers come off clean and it's in really good condition, but I just need to find the right adhesive to fix that because I don't want to use a glue that's going to eat through that sticker. But stickers are definitely something to keep in mind if you are collecting the Toxic Crusaders action figure line because most, if not all, of the figures came with some stickers, whether they were on the figure itself the accessories or both. So just something to keep in mind. So there we have it for the first figure in Headbanger or the first two figures, depending on how you want to look at it. And then we've got this fella right here, Major Disaster, another good guy in the Toxic Crusaders line. And Major Disaster, just like Headbanger, just like every figure in the Toxic Crusaders line has a ton of awesome sculpted and painted details. I love the radioactive soldier theme of Major Disaster and Major Disaster's mutation in Toxic Crusaders involved a radioactive swamp land. So he's covered in all this crazy plant life. He's got tendrils wrapped around his torso and his legs. He's got bark covering his limbs. And then he's got all this crazy moss growing around his, his feet. So some really cool details there. And unlike Headbanger, Major Disaster has a ton of weapons, as you would expect any good soldier to, and thankfully this Major Disaster is complete. So first up, he's got his main weapons in his blaster and his machete. Now all the Toxic Crusaders figures came with one or more glow-in-the-dark accessories, and Major Disaster has two of these glow-in-the-dark bombs that fix onto the strap on his backpack, and then we've got this awesome backpack here with a tree branch that provides a bit of camouflage for Major Disaster. So lots of different accessories going on here. The plant is a separate piece to the backpack, the strap on pegs from the backpack, so lots of different pieces to lose back in the day, back in 1991, so I'm really grateful to have this guy complete. Now, I mentioned stickers when I was talking about Headbanger. Major Disaster comes with four different stickers. So he's got the map of the world on his belt. He's got peace sign stickers on his helmet and also his blaster. In fact, he's got two peace sign stickers on his blaster and then he's got a peace sign sticker on his backpack. That's actually five. Now, unfortunately, my Major Disaster is missing the sticker from his backpack, but four out of five ain't too bad. So I'm, I'm still pretty happy with that because that's, that's the second thing that I look at when I look at Toxic Crusaders. You know, once I assess whether all the accessories are there, then I kind of turn my attention to the decals, which are missing and what sort of condition they're in. So four out of five decals is still pretty good, but it's just something to keep in mind if you are collecting the Toxic Crusaders line. 
So another awesome figure for the collection and one really cool feature that both of these figures have, Major Disaster and Headbanger, is the signature neon paint splatter that's slightly different for all Toxic Crusaders. So you could have two Headbangers and they're gonna have slightly different paint splatter. So it's just something to look for and a, a, just a feature that adds that extra pop of color to your display when you have them all on display. So there you have it for the latest additions to my vintage Toxic Crusaders collection. And with that, I've only got one figure to go to complete the figure line, and that's Bonehead. But I do have one or two accessories that I'm still trying to track down. And of course, I've got quite a bit of work to go on the vehicles. The vehicles in the line are really cool, but really tricky to find. So this, the hunt continues for those. But with that, I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. As always, you can hit us up on Instagram at CrusherCollects. And until the next one, cheers.